Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is April 29th, Sunday night of 2018. Uh, this is going to be a short, I hope, and uh, I see now I have a timer over here that I can see. Um, I'm using the two Logitech cameras running Windows 10, by the way. Um, I don't have my Panasonic G7 hooked up into this, and I'm not sure. You remember when I first uh, played with it, I thought, no, no, I'm not going to do it. Then I used it a little bit. I thought, hey, I kind of like this. I, I think I'm back to not using it in this. I'm going to kind of stick with this setup that I have uh, have here. Um, wanted to, oh, kind of want to update you. I now have, <laughs> I have my 27-inch ASUS monitor going here. Next to it, I have the LG 25-inch wide. Let's see, I can show you that. There it is, uh, that I've, used in the past and uh, so I have it set up. So I have my 27 inch here and then my wide monitor over here. And I've been moving things around and you know I've been uh, saying that I in a day or two this week going to get a um, 4k monitor. Uh, then I was thinking, what about getting a 34-inch widescreen LG monitor instead? And I just really can't make up my mind what to do, so I'm going to hold on for a little bit. Um, so I'm not sure. I have never seen a 4K monitor. I've never seen a 4K uh, you know, video or whatever. Uh, so I'd like to. Uh, what I want is, and a fork, a, well both would be, they both got their advantages. What I do a lot of is this type of stuff and I'll have something going over here and I'll be cutting and pasting and doing that kind of stuff. So I have another one of these ASUS 27-inch uh, monitors. I could put it side by. I've done that. Have them side by side. I just really don't know what I'm going to do. Um, people have, uh, since this uh, correspondence dinner, have been going. Because I have no idea who my sh Michelle Wolf is. I guess she's a comedian. I did not, I never watched the correspondence, White House correspondence at dinners. Uh, sometimes I will see clips of them, you know, on YouTube. Something, will, they'll take a little clip out of something. So I've seen a few of those. I haven't seen this. Uh, the little tiny bit that I've heard or people have mentioned, it doesn't appear that she was really funny. Uh, I just, uh, but people, uh, you know, right-wing people, uh, you know, Republicans, GOP, uh, they're upset. And I, you know, I don't care. I mean, I don't watch the correspondence dinner. I don't know who this person is. Um, I don't care. I don't see how you can be upset about what she says or does when, and there again, I don't think she, I do watch a lot of, uh, you know, from Netflix. I'm not sure which, I have Netflix, you know, Hulu, Amazon Prime. I don't know what I got, I pay for, you know. And one or more of them, they have a lot of comedy specials. And I watch a lot of those. You know, the person doesn't stand up comedy for an hour or an hour and 15 minutes or something. 
I watch a lot of those. Maybe I've seen her. I don't remember. I think I suspect if I saw her, I probably uh, stopped watching after a couple, you know, a couple minutes. Um, so, but uh, Republicans are upset with her. So, how can you be upset with somebody doing what she's doing or saying what she's saying? When you have a president of the United States who lies every day, I'm not sure that you can believe anything that comes out of his mouth. He lies. He changes. He'll say different things in the same day to different groups that he's going to do or did. Uh, he just, you know, he lies. He's incoherent. Uh, he's very, very stupid, unethical. Uh I don't see if, I mean, if you, I wouldn't be worried about a comedian, no matter what they say, unless they're, you know, calling for violence or, you know, something like that. When you have, I mean, if you're going to worry about something, worry about uh, the president of the United States or a senator or a congressman saying things. But I don't, don't worry, you know. Um, if you watch my videos, you know that, well, if you watch my videos, you know I'm a liberal Democrat, and I still say liberal. I haven't, uh, the Republicans made the word liberal. They, I watched them, and I commented about it over the years on my blog, that, uh, you know, they were trashing the, the word liberal and that we needed to reclaim it and that we needed to, you know, uh, I blogged about all that. Not that anybody cared or not that anybody really read it, you know. But I'm, I'm a liberal Democrat and I'm not going to say, I'll, I'll say I'm progressive too, but I'm not going to use progressive because the Republicans trashed the word liberal. Um, but if you watch my sites, you know that you know my politics. I don't apologize for it. Um, but you'll know too that I will quite often pop up on the screen, red, you know, the red state dot com to go see, and I'll say, you know, oh, you know, they're saying this or they're saying that, and uh, just about every time there's any politics, it seems like I'll pop up the this site, redstate dot com, which is a right-wing conservative, you know, site. I I know a lot of you, apparently too many of you, apparently all of you, you know, you just go to, if you're a liberal Democrat or whatever, I guess, I guess you go to CNN, you go to uh, MSNBC, I don't know where you go, wherever the Republicans say, oh, you all go, you know, you go to the uh, Pravda, I guess, you know, or you tune in Radio Moscow or something. I don't, you know, if you're, a, the Republicans would say. But I've never, I've never done that. I've always tried to see what the other side was saying and see if there was anything of, you know, any truth in it or just what their party line, you know, is. Uh, and I, I can't get Fox News, you know, the national, I don't, uh, which doesn't bother me at all. When I had cable uh, television, of course, I had fo the Fox News channel, and I very seldom watched it. But we had the invasion because of uh, Iraq going into Kuwait or whatever. I did watch. I was switching back and forth, and it seemed at that time that uh, Fox News, their uh, crews were ahead of the other crews or something, so I watched some. But, uh, so I'm not afraid. I, I'm, not a concern, I'm not afraid that somebody is going to uh, brainwash me. I mean, I've, I've got enough sense that I can see what's propaganda, what's, uh, I can weigh things out. But I guess a, a lot of people are, only wanting to hear their own point of view or else their brains are going to melt or something and they'll turn into 
members of the Communist International, and so, so, but, so you've seen me uh, quite often going to this. Now I did start after, you know, I did start probably when I would say, uh, well, now red state, I would say, I got to where I said, uh, the hate, uh, the hate site, redstate.com, because in the past, before uh, Trump came along, uh, redstate.com, apparently, they have a bunch of, they have a, where they did have, they just uh, went in at the CNN story, mentioned, you know, talks about that, that uh, that's not it. Mass, well, this is it. <laughs> uh, whoever runs, whatever conservative group runs uh, redstate.com, they use a, a bunch of different people, which is a good idea. So, which I think is a really good idea. That a lot, uh, so you get different points of view because you'll have to see who you know who wrote the piece, and you get some varying points of view. You don't on Fox News. They have a party line that everybody has to toe on Fox News, but on RedState.com you would get some different points of view. But the one thing back then, six months ago, now I guess it'd be four Trump, uh, they had their word processors or something. They couldn't, if, if somebody was reporting, commenting about something, they couldn't put uh, a um, Teamster union official, the automatic, I guess the word process, I'm exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating. That's what happened all the time, but I don't know that they had their word, but, but it, you couldn't type, uh, you know, union official, it would be changed to union thug. And the same with like teachers or anybody union, anybody teachers, college profet that was, you know, they hated on them. They couldn't say anything good about them. So that kind of pissed me off. So I got where I'd just say, okay, I'd go look anyway, you know. The, and they never disappointed me. They always had that, that line of, you know, unions bad, big business, major corporations good. So um, now <laughs> they were like the redstate.com. They were like me. They didn't think that Donald Trump was going to, to win. Even I think, like I know for me, even um, when the polls showed that you know the election was going to be close, I, I, I just couldn't believe it. I thought his base, you know, the why they were his base, I don't know, but the you know born again fundamentalist Christian people, I thought there is isn't any way that those good you know decent Christian, you know, God-fearing people, they're, you know, they, they may hate Democrats, they may hate Hillary Clinton with a passion, and they wouldn't vote for Hillary Clinton, but I thought there is no way that those good, decent people are going to go out and vote for Donald Trump, and they went out in mass and voted for Donald Trump. And he won. And redstate.com, they were as surprised as I was. Um, but then they they ha they had many negative art things about you know Donald Trump, and as he did all these insane, stupid, crazy things that he did they were criticizing him in a lot of their articles. A lot of these people reporting were critical of Donald Trump. And they would say, you know, I, I remember reading, you know, uh, you know, he was tweeting like crazy, you know, and crazy stuff and he's unhinged and blah, 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 blah. But then what they would do, because they had to, I guess, at the end of their 
commentary, they would say, of course, uh, Obama, he was worse. Every day he was worse. Those entire eight years were just horrendous, horrible, unthinkable, my God, whatever. And then they would say, of course, uh, Donald Trump is better than Hillary Clinton would be. Which, of course, is, I guess they had to do that. Uh, like I said, I'm a Democrat. I voted for Obama both times. Uh, I couldn't vote for the Republican, you know, candidate. Um, Obama was not, Obama did okay. I mean, considering, as well as he could do, considering that the Republican Congress decided from the first day and, and proudly announced it and, you know, and said it, that was their policy. We're going to make sure that his presidency is unsuccessful. We're not going to cooperate in any way with him. We're not going to give him any victories, uh, nothing. And that was, he did, Obama did, you know, okay. Um, Hillary Clinton, I wasn't for Hillary Clinton. I mean, there's no way I could vote for Donald Trump. Uh, in fact, I had to vote. I voted for Hillary Clinton. I held my nose and I voted for Hillary Clinton. Uh, I would have preferred Bernie uh, Sanders, I'd have preferred, you know, uh, Senator Warren, if she had run, anybody over, but, so, anyway, I, I follow, uh, you know, redstate.com. I noticed about, I'm not sure exactly of the timing, I noticed about a, uh, let's say a week ago, that or whenever the first thing with uh, the White House doctor who Trump picked to be head of the VA uh, when that happened and you know redstate.com you know reported oh here's you know a vice admiral or whatever his rank is you know and whatever and picked and they were even they even red state said well you know he doesn't have the administrative background you know this the va is the second largest agency in the united states government it's a massive job that is difficult to do you really need somebody who's really you know they talked about that and then all immediately of course the things came out about the uh, man that uh, Trump had picked to head the VA, the doctor, and some bad things, bang, started happening, and then, of course, right away, Trump says, well, if he wants to withdraw his name, and then the next day, Trump says, no, I'm 100% for him, or whatever. Right away, Red State never made any mention of any of that. All that was happening for a few days. There was no mention of, of the, his appointment, you know, the VA, the doctor, Nothing. I thought that's strange. Uh, you know, I I would have expected redstate.com to say, you know, well, the way they had been, I would, have, you know, well, Trump shouldn't have really picked him or whatever because he doesn't really have the administrative background. But the Democrats are attacking a, you know, a, a military officer, an admiral, a de decorated, you know, Milita member of the military, they always attack the military. They're always, I, that's the type of stuff I would have expected them to do. Nothing. There was no mention of anything. And then I looked at their stories. There was, uh, there wasn't any, there wasn't the same site. And I was going to do a video that was, but realizing it'd be kind of hard to explain, you know, I was going to do a video saying what's happened to redstate.com because of the content had changed. It was, it was different. And then this article popped up here where uh, Salem Media, 
owners of the influential conservative outlet Red State froze the site on Friday and dismissed many of the writers. You can read it yourself. I'll put a link below. You can read the article yourself. That's from CNN. So if you are one of those people, oh, oh no, CNN lies, can't believe, can't, I'll just get my information from Fox. Well, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, B. Uh, but if you read it, they uh, they made sure to, to take out um, um, people who, writers who had written uh, anti-Trump things. So it looks to me like they they were, well, they, they did that. Looks to me what they're doing, they're getting ready for the upcoming elections. So redstate.com and Republican sites and every place else I'm, I'm sure is, no matter how scared they are of uh, Donald Trump, and if you read it, Red State in the past, they were afraid that, you know, would he be able to, you know, launch a nuclear attack on some, you know, that they were, that type of stuff. But it looks like they're going to fall into line now. Okay, we're getting ready for the upcoming elections. By the way, for those of you outside the United States, and for some of you inside the United States, the upcoming election uh, is, you know, congressional. It's well for governors too and stuff like that. It's not a presidential election, so. By the way, it says that Red State, a 13-year-old blog that was founded by Eric Erickson. Uh, I actually enjoyed some, I didn't agree with, uh, with him, but I enjoyed reading some of the material that he actually posted to get the other, uh, other point of view and whatever. And he, he left it and I'm not sure, but uh, apparently his access, it, well, he could always post from time to time, but he went on to other, other things. And uh, apparently he no longer has the ability to uh, post there anymore. So it looks like it's getting ready, but I noticed today, I think they're back, I think probably all those people got fired and then everybody else who was writing for them probably uh, was trying to, okay, put their antennas out, antenna, and uh, see which way the wind is blowing. It looks like maybe they're, uh, they're back a little bit. Um, because now they're saying, you know, Trump walked back, he's walking back comp campaign promises he made about Planned Parenthood and the funding for the wall. And and then this too of, you know, don't get angry about mean insult comics if you help to put one in the Oval Office. So it looks back like they're back to, uh, that's by Jim Jarmnist or something. I don't know who he is, but Looks like not everybody that's, um, so, because I haven't read the article, but you know, it says, don't get angry about mean insult comics if you help to put one into the Oval Office. And there is the president. Um, enough of that. I hate even talking about politics, but my blog ever, since 1982, if you follow me, it's going to be whatever happens to be on my mind, whatever I happens to be interested in at the time. When uh, you were following me and my blogging or whatever, when I was upset where I was working and I did a grievance against, at four times I did a grievance at one hospital against the director of security. I posted my grievance, you know, online for you all to read before I turned it in the next day or whatever, and it was there. And when I won my grievances or whatever, I told you that I won my grievances. And so it's whatever, uh, you know, when my wife decided she wanted a divorce, that she had never loved me and, uh, 
wanted to find somebody that she did love or whatever, I spelled it out, you know, to you. So then there was, uh, when I was concerned about whether I would be able to see my children, whether she might move, you know, from the area or whatever, that was all, so it was whatever. So if you happen to tune in during that period of time, it would be like, oh, this guy is just talking about his damn personal life and, you know, whatever, and then times move on. Um, okay, I don't want to delete this because I'm going to go ahead and put it in the links. Don't need this, so I can close that. Um, this, here's the 34-inch ultra-wide, or 34-inch monitor that I'm thinking about getting, $350. Um, uh, it would work out good, but do I really need it? Um, then for 4K, before I was looking at a 4K that was just about 350 or so dollars, 27 inch. If I remember correctly, I put this one on the list. It's, you know, about a hundred dollars more or whatever. Um, uh, one thing that it has is a adjustable stand which the others don't have. You know, these monitors I have, you can tilt back and forth. But uh, that one you can, so that's, but I'm not sure what I'm going to uh, do because also I'm thinking about, um, let me go to my, let's see, wish list. Because there's other things that I could, uh, I'm not going to get this FC80. I've talked about it in the past. The thing about it, I have three Panasonic cameras now, but this one, the FC80, uh, I have the, well, I also have an FC200 or whatever. But this does 20 to 1,200 zoom lens. I don't need a zoom lens like that, but... It would be nice if I ever went someplace where I could use it, you know, uh, to a park or a someplace or be kind of, but I, I just can't justify spending $400 when I've got uh, three other Panasonic cameras that cost a lot of money that I really don't use that much. I am thinking about dual monitor uh, stands and get these monitors up. Unfortunately, I think both of these, I believe, uh, do not have the uh, Vista things on the back. Usually monitors do. You can get something for it, but I'm thinking. So, well, as you can see, I'm looking at different, uh, different mounts. And then, too, I definitely need a UPS uh, battery backup system. Um... I have a ton of mice, but I don't have a good uh, wireless mouse. I'm not going to get because I have a ton of mices or mouses here. Where's the camera? Oh, which I don't know which camera's going. Oh, there's this one. Yes, yeah, that one. Um, but right now on sale is, and I have the. Uh, Logitech G710, excellent mouse, or excellent, <laughs> excellent uh, keyboard. Let me see, here we go. This is, okay, it's hooked up, the wire's hooked up back there. And this one I got mounted on a stand. Well, I can pan it down here. Anyway, take my word for it. It's an excellent, uh, excellent keyboard, and I'm happy with it, but they, there's a new uh, keyboard that's not, the regular price is supposed to be $150 for it, 
Uh, right now it's on sale for 100 because they just came out with it. And it doesn't have all the programmable keys, although they you can do. But from the looks of it, uh, what it, like I'm looking here in my room, and my room is, I just have a lamp over there. It was the one back here, but it caused problems with, you know, the, too much light behind the camera or whatever. But looking here at the keyboard, I'm a touch typist, but uh, I can barely see the punctuation marks and that type of stuff. They're not lit up. They get a little bit of, you know, a little bit of uh, luminance, luminous, a little bit of brightness from, but it looks like the other new keyboard they have arranged them differently. They arranged the uh, things differently on the keyboard and the question marks and punctuation signs and all those are lit up also. Do I want to spend a hundred dollars just to... So I don't know. I just don't know if I want to spend $450 For a 4K monitor. What I should do is go to Best Buy and actually see the, uh, of course I've watched YouTube videos. This 34-inch uh, wide monitor, it is, it's wide. So, I, I, um, I think that's about it for today. I thank you very much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And uh, keep your eye open for the next video.